Now, JH Aotearoa is a Christian adventure experience designed to connect mums and dads with their teen sons and daughters and young adults. It sounds like a really amazing experience. I actually had a friend who um, was on this a few years ago and she really raved about it and how incredible it was, the fun, but also what it did in strengthening her relationship with her father. Now, the founders of JH Aotearoa in New Zealand are Desiree and Phil Thompson and they now join me in the studio. Good morning to you both. Good morning. morning. Good morning. Lovely to have you here. Thank you. you. So, uh, Desiree, this, um, you guys launched this into New Zealand. Uh, you've, you said you've had nine of these adventures and it's a program that actually came out of the States, is Correct. that right? yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Phil, how did you guys get to sort of bring this to New Zealand? Well, it started with our family. A very good friend of ours uh, went up in 2013 and his son was a good friend of one of my sons and they were talking about it. And uh, so I had the opportunity to go up with one of my to sons. To the States? To the States. Yeah. And uh, I expected to be sort of fixing my son, really. And uh, through the course of the week, I realised that it wasn't really my son who needed the most fixing okay yeah that's like cool that. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> god has a way of doing that absolutely um, i mean i i guess well de- definitely in the world that we live in we can be so disconnected can't we i mean i've got a 19 year old and i'm like oh imagine going away with him for five days and having adventures what sort of feedback do you guys get from people that are actually you know go on the course that the parents and the children or the young adults are uh, desiree look wonderful feedback lizzie um, what what people say is that it really deepens their communication with their child and also sort of deepens their understanding and their trust and respect for one another. Um, so, yes, yeah, some wonderful stories of connection on, and also of reconciliation oh, within families, nice. which has been very special. Yes, I know this friend of mine, her father's actually since passed away, she's a lot younger than me, but... Uh, I, I think, you know, things hadn't been that great with her mm. and her dad. And this was just a beautiful healing experience. And mm. I'd often sort of thought, oh, who was that organisation? <laughs> and then you guys sort of popped up on my radar and here you are. But uh, Phil, tell us exactly what actually goes on. It's out, it's out in the bush, I'm taking it. You're off having adventures. What sort of things are, are people doing, families doing together? Well, the adventure activities are a part of it, but uh, the adventure activities are facilitated. So there's some... There's lots of fun. Fun first is one of the things that we talk about, particularly where there are teenagers there. So there's got to be fun and enjoyment. But um, on a normal day, uh, there's some adventure activity in the morning. There's some in the afternoon. Um, We'll have some chill time, sort of late afternoon, some food and relaxing. And that's good for the parents because if you've done a couple of adventure activities, you're ready for a bit of a relax. Oh, yes. And, um, And then a talk in the evening. So... But the, the great thing is that there's plenty of time for the, the parents and the, the young people to spend together. Mm. Um, yeah, I can imagine some young people, or maybe even some parents, wanting to do some activities but not wanting to do others. Is that, is that sort of choice there that you can, you know, opt out? Yes. So everything's challenged by choice. You do what you want to do and where you're comfortable at. Uh, the thing that we do encourage people to do is to try and step a bit further outside of their comfort zone. Yeah. But if yeah. there's something they don't want to do, uh, they don't have to do it. Yeah. So yeah. where is it? Like, where's it taking place? It's at Tui Ridge Adventure Park in Nongataha, just this side of Rotorua. Yeah. So it's a wonderful facility there, and we've partnered with them all through the nine years. Mm. Uh, and it's a great spot, and we have brilliant access to many of the wonderful uh, outdoor adventure activities around Rotorua. Yeah, and what's accommodation like? You know, that's kind of important. <laughs> sort of standard com- camp accommodation. Yeah. Yeah, so cabins or dorms, you know. But the whole experience, you don't have to... It, it feels more like you're hosted than a camp. Like nice. the food is fantastic. Oh, you don't have to important. do the dishes. You don't have to do anything. Ooh. You're looked after the entire time and very much, very much hosted. Yeah, yeah, I'm sort of thinking of Girl Guides, Boy Scouts, but sort of like next level yeah, kind definitely. of thing. And as, you know, the founders of this movement in New Zealand, what does this mean to you guys like being part of this? Well, for us, it's really about, it's about family. And, and our vision is to transform one family at a time that's part of a community that's part of our nation and the great thing with this is that you're getting two from a family that are coming in and having this transformation experience so when they go back into their family then the ripple effects can be quite 
quite profound. You yeah. know, if there's been a real fundamental shift in the trust within that relationship. So our vision is to see that, to see more and more families across our nation be able to experience that. Yeah. So you gave me a brochure here. I know you said there's different activities, but talk me through some of them. Like this one here, obviously the picture tells me, listeners can't see it. Uh, white water rafting, Correct. that's an option. What else yes. have you got going on? Mountain biking, yep. high ropes, abseiling, walker on the lake. Um, and also we have a, a peaceful activity um, at Hamarana, which is a walk amongst the redwood trees. Oh, I like there. the sound of that. So it's a balance of it's not all super adrenaline. There's some reflective activities there as well. Yeah. So what about for somebody that perhaps, you know, would like to go or they're, they're, they're thinking now, gee, that would be neat if my son went with my granddaughter or something mm -hmm. like that, but they don't have the funds. Is there any sort of scholarship available? Absolutely. So actually most people who come, come on some form of scholarship. Okay. Yeah, but look, we would love to today to offer a scholarship to um, some... Star listeners. Uh, star listeners, yeah. Awesome. So if there's anybody who's interested in coming and feel like they can't afford it, if they would like to write in, we, we would love to select somebody to have uh, a scholarship to come with their teenage son and um, daughter yeah. and, and the parent. Do people ever do it across the generations, like a grandparent? Yes, we've had grandparents Absolutely. do it. Um, great. Sometimes when the guardian's been an uncle or an aunt, yes. they've come and, and done it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Okay, so if you're listening and you're thinking, oh, oh, I want to take my grandson, my granddaughter, you know, somebody in your family, uh, that's a re really wonderful, generous offer from Desiree and Phil. Uh, why don't you email me? at studio at star.net.nz, studio at star.net.nz for the uh, JH Aotearoa uh, experience and who you want to take and why you want to take them. And for people who would like to find out more information, where's the best place to go? The website? Website, jh.org.nz. Okay, jh.org.nz. Desiree and Phil Thompson, thank you so much for your time today. Great to have you in the studio. Thank, thank you, you so much.